I just realized my microphone was muted. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. We're gonna stream for another hour or so. I'm starting a little tired, and I do have to get up in the morning, so I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna go at crazy, you know, lengths of, lengths of time. So we're gonna get into this. And I think I want to try to fall between worlds again, like I did before. So. We're gonna get back onto the stranger. We're gonna do that thing where we fall down in between loading screens. And hopefully, we'll be able to explore that area a little bit more, because we didn't get to really explore that at all. We happen to do it right near the end of the... Right near the end of the loop. Zip it about. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go forward a little bit. And. Then we'll mark the stranger on our mini map. Oh. Let's read up on this a little bit. Subterranean Lake. I discovered a vast subterranean lake beneath the submerged structure. The sealed vault is resting on the shore of the lake. There are three interfaces, each marked with one of the three symbols from the vault. I rotated the mechanism in front of the vault, causing it to strain against the chains holding it shut. Moments later, rays of green light spilled out of the vault. Secret passage. The light coming out of the vault gave me a vision of, a climb, of climbing a spiral staircase to a room near the top of a tower. One of the stranger's inhabitants pointed at a mural of the tower beneath a nighttime sky, then picked up an artifact and left the room. Sometime later, the lamps next to the mural went dark, revealing a secret passage. Alright, so the artifact is probably relevant. Oh, we got something new here. Enormous reservoir of I found a room with a burned control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection. Wait, oh, okay, that's, there's more to explore there. It doesn't mean I found something new. Which is fine. Alright. Ooh, we're coming in hot. Ooh, firing retro rockets. Hmm. We're just pushing right up against that. Okay, that's cool. I can dig it. Where's the entrance? Whoa! Okay, there's the entrance. Normal sort of landing. Not even sure if I care about fixing this. Uh -huh. Okay, so we just want to go to. Yeah. Actually, yeah, so the best way to go is actually to the hull bridge. Or is it this one here? I think it's this one here. Ooh, it's getting away from me. Ooh, landing gear. Ooh, come on, don't. There we go. We're good, we're good. We made it work. Alright, we're gonna stick to our plan. Just try to get to the place in between loading areas. Did I read this? Yeah, I think I saw that already. 
I'm just gonna leave the door open. I'm not paying for the air conditioning. We can air condition all of outer space if we want. Oh, that's the observation deck. That's not the first time I made that mistake. Ooh, uh, let's not jump off the balcony. So I do kind of find it interesting that this is the one that doesn't get wet, and yet I don't seem to ever encounter the people, the, the owl folk associated with this place, even though there clearly are people that went to sleep here. My spacesuit feels weird. So you really get used to having your spacesuit in this game. But this area is. You spend a lot of time in this area and you just don't have a spacesuit on. No jetpack, no other tools other than this artifact. Excuse me. It's too bad there's not a shortcut here. You kind of launch yourself forward a little bit if you're going down the stairs, though. That might be a useful thing. There's all sorts of speedrun tech that I'm not even aware of. I know there's that crazy thing where you can do a shipless run, run in the base game. That requires you to go to the museum shard and it just launches you into the sky. You have to be wearing your spacesuit, obviously, but... I'm not even sure if you need the spacesuit from the ship. You could use the spacesuit from... No, you can't use the spacesuit from the Zero-G cave, because when you try to go up it... The elevator, then it takes it away from you automatically. Holy, pardon me. Okay, so that is done. That is not the hollow tree that I went through to get to the lodge, that is a different hollow tree. The reason I say that is because it has a, a, some sort of boardwalk going over water, and it seems to be in the water. gonna take it again. Okay, once it... Alright, disappearing. Okay, that is... seems to be the way forward. So let's go this way. It would suck if we just randomly fell through the water that we're walking on right now. 
Oh. This is just another way to get to the library. Is there a reason to come back here again? Well, let's check it out. Maybe there's a dude I can talk to that would have been dead otherwise. No, nope, everything else seems the same. Okay, well, let's... Oh. We're gonna end up behind that fire, aren't we? What about that over there? I was going to jump in the water, but you know what? Let's go up here anyway. Maybe we'll learn something new. at a premium in this game. Every minute is precious. This is kind of almost like a game designed for speedrunning in a way. Maybe that's part of the reason why I reference speedrunning so much when I'm playing this, because it makes me think about it. Let's try that again, and this time we'll see where else we can go when we're in between levels. Oof, I almost pressed the wrong button to jump, and that would have caused me to just land in the water. It's not even necessary to jump, I can just walk over to the raft when it's close enough to the dock. Alright. to wait for the world to disappear behind me. I should have sped up the process. Where's that tower? And there's this thing over here. What happens if I try to jump over to it? It's getting really dark over here. I don't like that. There's the dam.
there's some owl dudes dying. Well, in a way, they're kind of already dead. They just don't know it yet. Without knowing more about the nature of this place, it's really hard to say. If I should feel bad about them dying or not. There's a light over there. I want to see what that's about. over here. There's a lot more stuff over here than I expected. Did I just do a big circle around that? Yeah, I think I did. That's okay. Alright, so it doesn't appear that there's any way to bridge this gap. Unless there is, and I just missed it. Could maybe jump onto that rock? I don't know if that'll... I don't know if it'll give me a way to get across that spot, though. No. Let's see what else there is here. Okay, so this is under the vault as well. That's so weird, that... We would separate it with those physical objects, and yet, they are always connected, technically speaking. Okay. So... There's this. <sighs> do I just do this three times? It feels kind of hacky. But maybe it's supposed to feel kind of hacky. It's like, ooh, there, there's three codes, you have to figure them out. But no. You can just take a back door. Like a virtual back door. Can I get up there? I'm able to get down from there. That doesn't mean that there isn't a one-way invisible wall, though. There. Okay, we're back. We're up. Yeah, this is like I'm hacking through- hacking their virtual world. Not really hacking, I'm using... I'm doing QA testing for them, that's what I'm doing. Is this one blocked off for me though? This one might not be- yeah, this might not be one that I'm able to do this way. That's what that light is above. That's... So this... Abusing the geometry of the game appears to be an intended path for one of those puzzles. But not for the other two. That's fine. Is there anything else for me to do here? 
we, we have a way to solve one of these. What is this? Oh. Okay, no, this is- we're back at the hidden library, or the hidden archive, or whatever it was called. Wait, there's two of these big structures. Are they both part of the same world? There's more reels over there. I think this is the one I was already looking at. It's got its own thing there. I was running out of ideas, though. Okay, so... That was the phase... that was the middle one. Was that phase two? Let's take another look. Because the thing about phase one is... Whatever that door is supposed to be hiding, it was burnt, was ripped away, destroyed. So... Something happened. Well, I mean, something... Somebody did something to it. That thing that I thought they were supposed to be protecting. Oh, well, buddy just bit it. That means... Is that the end of the loop? So that means there is a dude in the tower, probably. Because somebody died just now. And the only thing that really happens right before the music starts playing is that the tower falls over. So there's one dude who's sleeping, like, not just in the mortuary of the tower, but some other part of the tower. Which is probably, probably what that mural is hiding. scream before like that. <clears throat> so he was the- he must be the last one to survive. Out of the rest of them. This appears to just- yeah, this drops me back in this- back in the same place. The question I was hoping to answer was, which one of these phases did I deactivate? Was it number two? Do I have enough time to get there? Yeah, it was number two. So I just deactivated number two. Phase one. The paper, the, the burnt paper that I found behind the phase one door is probably the code I'm supposed to know. So the code themselves 
All right, the code itself isn't the thing that disables the chain. The code helps me to get to the statue that makes the chain exist. And whatever is inside the vault wants to be let out, obviously. All right, so we're going back. We're going to the tower this time to figure out what the deal is with that. So I really want to solve the problem, like whatever the puzzle is behind that mural. They picked up an artifact. Was there an artifact at the mural? Watching the projector pulled up in the that one area, the mansion, that I, what I called it. He is probably the same dude that's like sleeping in the lodge. was him taking their artifact out that did it. It was... Whatever happened when they went to sleep caused the lights to go out. In that vision, wasn't there a table? Or was it a shelf like that? slide reel. Take a closer look at it. I'm pretty sure I've watched this one, but maybe I didn't quite get it the first time. Maybe this will tell me what I need to do to put out the power in this tower. There's a projector house over here. Come on. I know we're going against the current, but you can do it, little raft. read this one. Okay, so 
I need a lantern from that lantern shrine from the tower, candlelit tower. I decide I need to go in there, that'll save me some time later. Fuel level critical. Okay, well, I know where there's fuel nearby, so... Should I get that now? No, let's just read. We're on a deadline. We're on a time limit. Okay, so here we go. Now let's find out if I've read this one already. Okay, they're in. Going in the front door. This is the one where I found out. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's what this one is. That doesn't give me the information I was hoping for, though. It's good to see that again, but at the same time, it's kind of like... I think I fully understand it now. And it's not, it's not the thing I want to understand right now. We'll run over to the eye shrine, refuel. Yeah, solar panels are, are extending. there though. One of those lights is already out, and I wonder if that's some type of hint. Wait, what's around that here? Oh, it just leads over to this hill. I don't think there's anything important over here. something I missed here. Why did the lights go out like that? Okay, that light is out. Is there some way to interact with this room to make the lights go out? Because there's a bunch of lights in here. And the dude that was holding the artifact I don't think he went to the roof to do something. That was my initial thought, but then I realized, no. Do I need to somehow disable the other sources of power? They seem to be transferring power to each other. So there's that burned reel. Still haven't got that figured out either. The burned reel shrine. Which is another eye shrine. I 
haven't used my signal scope at all here. Except for zooming in. Which hasn't really been as useful as I would have thought. So that's underwater. Man. Okay. There's no antler associated with this, because this is itself, and the other three are remote. Local, remote. Can't get any radio signals from here, can I? I saw the view map hint, and I thought, oh wait, do I get a map for this place? So what I'm thinking is... <laughs> it could be possible that I just have to get in there in the other world. That was my other theory that I was coming up with. I seem to be hitting a roadblock with this area. With this version of the tower, rather. Refuel, but I'm probably just gonna run out run out of time soon. Yeah, the dam looks like it's ready to go now. Wait. Oh, he's just playing music by the water. There's a nice variety of paintings here. seen a couple of repeats, but in general, uh, there's a good variety. Okay, this is... is this gonna knock me out? Not right away. I've got a little bit of time. to do the boat house. And I can get behind. Okay, that's good. We good, we good. Jumping in the water and then going back to sleep immediately would probably be quicker than walking back like this. Okay. So we're gonna make it back up the tower. And we'll see if we can learn something new in this version of the tower's upper room. If we do something here, will that disable the lights in the other version? Oh, yes! Yeah, that is totally it. No, no, I don't want it. Okay. 
I was thinking that the guy grabbing the artifact in the vision was going to join all the rest that are putting themselves into perma sleep, but that's not the case. He just put himself into a temporary sleep so he could do that. Okay, that does move. So the guy who was asleep should have lots of time. So this tower's not going to fully fall over until very close to the end. I mean, I say lots of time, but I mean, we're getting close to the end now anyway, so. I passed by the gateway, didn't I? It's down, but it's submerged now. Yeah. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be our solemn, solemn moment. No, okay, yeah, we can get still get it. Cool. I hope this is a dude that we can actually talk to and get some information from. Yes. Okay, go down. All right, there's three of these. That one's burnt. That one's also burnt. Okay, they're all burnt. This one. We're gonna screenshot that one. Oh wait. Okay, we know this one already. That's one that we've discovered the normal way. This is the important one that we needed to get. I didn't actually expect to find the code this way, but that's good stuff. I wonder how much time we have left in this cycle. Get a jetpack fuel here, and probably not a lot, but... They kind of expected you to get enough. Alright, cool. So that's, that's a cool trick. I wasn't expecting there to be candles there. I know I've been there before, but I didn't notice the difference. I figured it had something to do with this. I kind of appreciate that it's not just something to bang your head against. Alright, so there's a raft over there. We'll take that raft. Come on, let's go up. way. I think we still got time to make at least some type of discovery. See, that's not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting to find a dude sleeping there. like with his own personal fire and that would be the dude that we got to talk to that would you know give us some in some good info dumps like Solonum did we might still find someone like that but looks like for now we'll have to keep looking no don't ah god damn it the game for a moment and just check on my screenshots. How do I get to my screenshots in Steam? Content? Profile content? It's showing me the screenshots I've uploaded. It's not showing me the screenshots that I have. Manage screenshots? No. Upload screenshots? Okay. 
So, Crescent, Home, Crescent, Star Star. Just want to get that kind of cemented in my head. Oh, right there. Just so I can enter it in real quick if I have to. I don't know why I'm still carrying this artifact, but no reason to put it down now. It might turn out I need it. Oh, can I... Can I even get over there? Yes. Okay, cool. That wasn't a big deal. I was afraid that I was, like, stuck. Okay. No, we do need to put down this artifact, actually. Go between these two trees. And then hug the right wall. Okay. We'll remember that for next time, just in case we actually did need to bring that artifact here. Oh, we're at end time. Nope, that's not a way up. Okay, so... Crescent. Home, Crescent, Star Star. Oh! Okay. Oh man, do I have enough time to go wherever that's gonna take me? We don't have enough time. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. So I wanna see what this... I don't have enough time to figure out what this means, but I'm assuming it means this is the location of some special reels that we haven't found yet. Is that... Okay, I kind of thought that maybe that particular elevator had something for us. Okay, we got this film reel, I think. What is that location? I'm not sure if that's behind the first projector house I've been to in the lowlands. Okay. We'll go for a little bit longer, it's fine. I'm gonna take a brief break though. So I will be back in like two minutes. So I'll see you then.